Hey folks, uh, today uh, I thought it would be a good time to finish making my paper game because it's yet another episode of PCG Making Mondays. Let's make a paper game. All right, folks. So how's everyone doing today, first and foremost? Um, here is my game. I started making it last Monday. It is called Zuvac the Paper Game, for those who do not know. Here is the cartridge, which will go into the system once it is finished. Um, let's, uh, let's, uh, move my fa- ah, dang it. Let's move my face out of the way. Uh, let's, yeah, let's just, let's just get that out of there entirely. Um... And let's see what what uh, what's going on in chat. Hey Yak, hey JPGS, how's it going, folks? Thanks for joining. Um, yeah, so uh, I am going to be making uh, this here uh, this here paper game. As you will recall, we've got we've got uh, we've got our little characters. We've got Zuvac, Cleanerbot. The the uh, Robo Dolly that Zuvac rides around on. Um, let's put those to the side for the moment. Let's see what we have so far and what we still have to make. Um, so uh, we've got here's our new game uh, load game screen. JP just says you can add little cutscenes. That's a good idea. That is a very good idea. Hmm. Let's see. Well, I'll. Yak says after I catch up with some school stuff, I'm gonna work on my PCG. That's awesome. Uh, that is super cool. <laughs> um. Man, PCG Mondays, uh, PCG Making Mondays is turning into a community thing, you know? It seems like every time I do this, somebody in chat is also working on a PCG or, you know, whatever, a paper game or whatever. Um, I almost think, like, in the future, maybe I should, like, evolve this into a community thing where, like, I'll be making a PCG and other people are, like, on a call and they're also making PCGs. I don't know. I don't know how that would work. Let me know if you guys like that idea or not. Yeah, it says, yeah, it always kind of inspires me to do stuff when I see you do stuff. <laughs> well, that's excellent. I mean, th then this is definitely having its intended effect because inspiring other people to make stuff is a worthwhile thing to do, I think. Um, anyway, so let's... Uh, so here is Zuvac's place... Zuvac is kind of um, here, and the first screen is going to involve Cleanerbot. Hey, how's it going? Question mark with the, with 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 the dot. Yeah, um, I think that's the person who's been posting as um, JPG says. Look up the channel. Yeah, but how? Um, I can't just like click on it and um, like for some reason I can't do that from chat. I can, I can, I can report or block, but I'm not going to do that because they didn't do anything wrong. Um, yeah, but I think that's the person who, who's been doing Keiko KT and Reality Stupid and IPGS. Like I think they just keep changing the channel name. Um, but yeah, okay, so, um, It's quite a mystery, right? KPGS says he changed his name to IPGS. He asks us, who is that? I have no idea. Um, very curious, though. <laughs> I suppose whoever it is will probably reveal themselves at some point. And it'll be un very interesting to find out. Um... So anyway, uh, yeah, the first screen is going to be Cleanerbot. Um, what, what, what was Cleanerbot supposed to do? 
Oh, he was supposed to activate the 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 robot dolly. That was the problem because the robot dolly is locked up somewhere. Um, so the first screen. So this is like this is not really the first screen. This is more mostly like a cinematic screen. This is just where Zuvac kind of is. So we are going to have to. Um, Break out the new paper, the fresh paper. Look how fresh and crisp this paper is. Doesn't that feel fresh? Check that out, you guys. Mmm, fresh paper. All right. We are ready to draw. Yeah, yeah, paper. I don't like this eraser, though, but whatever. It's going to have to do. Um, so this screen is going to be kind of top-down, and we're drawing with the idea that um, in fact, let's turn it this way. Here's Cleaner Bot. He's going to have to fit in it. Oh, hey, Salmon. He says, hey, oh, I want to stay, but it's very late. I always sleep around this time to wake up for school the next day. But this is exciting, and I can't wait to see the outcome of your first paper game. Thanks so much, dude. Sorry to do this late. I meant to do it earlier, but it didn't happen because I got hungry and wanted to eat dinner. But um, hopefully next time I will. And have a good night. And... Uh, yeah, get get like have a good night and, and uh, enjoy school the next day. Um, okay, so yeah, let's um, so Cleanerbot is going to have to navigate a series of passageways. These are not like full size human passageways. These are sort of like. Almost like heater ducts. They're 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 like maintenance shafts for robots to pass through. And um, let's see. So yeah, cleaner bot can come in. He has to make sort of like a, you know, it's a it's a T. He has to make a turn, but he can go either way. JPGS says I haven't seen anyone post PCGs or paper games for PCG news. That's actually kind of good, honestly. There's like, I mean, it's not good, but like, there's we already have so many stories to cover, and yeah, <laughs> like that if if more kept piling up. Man, I mean, they still will, but, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's always, like, the more the merrier, but it would make making PCG news harder. So the more people want to want to contribute to that, the better. Um, Yak says, check the doc and announcements on the Discord. I will check. Um... Let's see. How am I going to do this? JPG says I say it's enough until October. It already is October though. But yeah, I agree. It is enough. I need to I need to cover them some more. I'm waiting for more submissions from people. Um I'm going to have to start covering a lot of them myself. Uh, Yak says, no, I meant JPGS because he said he didn't know about any new vids. Oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Um, hmm. The problem is I was intending this screen to be a lot, you know, bigger. Like, and have a lot more twists and turns and whatnot. But, but like, the size of CleanerBot made me draw it like this. Excuse me. Um, hey, how's it going, Cold Brooding Werewolf? Yak says, I did as many as I could, but it's a lot of work, honestly. Props for doing PCG News all this time. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Yeah, it is a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Um, the more you do it, though, you come up with tricks to, you know, get it done faster. Um, it still is a lot of work, but yeah. Um, 
so yeah, I yeah, yeah, definitely no pressure to do any more. I, I I super appreciate whatever you were able to do. Thank you so much for for contributing. Um, so yeah, let's see. Um, I think I'm going to put the um. Where am I gonna put the Robo Dolly? Colbert Rule, Zach, can you ask some people for help in Mirage of Z Oh you Can you ask some people for help in Mirage of Zubac? I mean Sure, folks, uh Colbert Werewolf wants help making Mirage of Zubac. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> you should uh Mirage of Zubac is a new PCG Colbert Werewolf is making and it looks pretty darn cool. It's got a lot of like time travel y goodness and uh it has lots of zubac in it i'm in it v is in it cold brooding werewolf is in it um yeah so it's it's pretty epic yak says it's really tough because i have a lot of non-pcg related not i have a lot on my non-pcg related plate right now i don't know if i can do any more yeah so then definitely don't do any more if you can't do any more like whatever you have done already super awesome i super appreciate it I don't want to stress you out or kill you with stress. So, yeah, th thanks so much for whatever you were able to do. Um, that will be very much appreciated. Colbrooding Werewolf says it's almost going to beat Balzac Globetron, I think. I don't know about that. I will believe it when I see it. I'll believe it when I see it because it's easy to announce you're going to make a game that's like hundreds of pages long. It's not quite as easy to actually make it. So when I see it, when I see it, I mean, I know from experience, dude, it took me legitimately 10 years on and off working on Balzac Lobotron. And not because I was slacking. I worked on it like really hard for weeks at a time. And then I would give up for a few months and then come back to it and work on it hard. Um, and Balzac Lobotron still, like it just took 10 whole years to get, you know no you know i think it was more than that because we ended up playing it in 2015 and i first started making it in like 2004 so yeah definitely more than 10 years <laughs> hey 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 via how's it going pcg mondays yeah um Colberting world says if whoever helps me i will add a special dlc story and they can be the cast of the DLC, that's awesome. That is a very cool audience participation tactic, Cold Brooding Werewolf. I approve. Very cool. Hmm. I think there should be a chamber down here. What do you guys think? I mean, just a little. I might have to expand this to multiple screens. That might make it better anyway. What do you guys think? Um, then let's see, here is where the, um, wait, I did that wrong, shoot. JPGS says, I'm giving three lucky people an early version of Swamp Survival. Nice. JP just says, whoa, 10 years, that's how long an open world game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I guess Balzac Globetron counts as an open world game. Well, maybe, because, like, it's set in space, and you're, like, a spaceship, and you have to move from planet to planet. And, you can, and in that sense, it's open world, because you just have a whole area of the universe to explore, and you can go to any planet you want at any time. So in that sense, it's open world. However, each planet is not that big. Each one is like only like one or two s screen or like a few screens. And then like only the major planets are like a lot of screens. So the pl like on the planets, it's not really open world. It's just like a series of challenges. But like space as a whole is open world. So, yeah. Um... Colberting Werewolf says, and I'll make a spin-off on Mirage of Zuvac called Sift Heads. That's awesome. I dig. 
Sift Heads, I love that title. That's awesome. Mirage of Zuvac, though, is also a super classic title. PC Via says, yeah, Monday's guitar solo. Totally. This is inspired, th this whole scene is inspired by a scene from Kurt's classic PCG, Spaceballs. Because that's when CleanerBot first appears and you have to go through a sequence like this, but I, fi I figured a sequence like this would work really well for a paper game and it makes sense in this one, so that is why it's happening. Um, JPGS says, I need to make a Marvel Spider-Man PCG, but I have to work on the script first. Man, that would be awesome. That would be super cool. Um, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a passageway to the next screen up here. Cool Birding Werewolf says, wait a minute, I need to work on Jojo Kimia Nobukin Heaven Over World. And inside of here, there are going to be um, cabinets with some like circuitry on top of them and whatnot. I need to really highlight this. Arr! This has gotta be angry lines, angry lines. Yeah, yeah. Because this is where the Robo Dolly is locked up. However, you have to do something first before you can access it. Um, KPGS says, when I make a PCG script only, I can recognize it. I know the feeling. Anyway, um, should I put a locked door here or should I just like, I don't know. I'm not sure what to do. Um, let's see. There's not going to be a, a chamber at the bottom left. That would be too symmetrical. But I will put a like a passageway that goes to the left over here. And one that goes up. Over to Wimbledon says, I'm so happy that I joined this community. I know, it's a pretty good place to be, right? <laughs> Kai Paljor says, hi. Hi, everyone. Hi, Kai Paljor. How's it going? Welcome to my uh, paper game making stream. Um, normally, I make... <laughs> Via says, hi, Kai. Going to make some circuitry over here. I'll move this down so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. JP just says, for example, Zack like dialogue. What's Zach like dialogue? Do I have a style? Oh my goodness. Uh, 
Alright, so... The thing to do now... Okay, so... Well, first I'll draw some circuitry here, but basically I need to figure out some way to stop you from being able to get into this room and unlocking this thing because there needs to be more to do. Because, like, this is the final goal. So I, I guess the easiest thing to do would just be to put, like, a locked door and you have to, like, deactivate the door. Um... Via says I took a nap and woke up to find out PCG Monday's happening. <laughs> nice. Via says, and yes, Zach, you do have a style. I do? Oh my goodness. Colburning Werewolf says, Via, can you do a dub for a lot of cutscenes? Ooh, I don't know. A dub. Interesting. JPGS says, for example, like what the person is saying in the PCG. Ah, yeah. Yak says, uh, I gotta go see you guys. All right, have a good night, Yak. Thanks for joining. Have a good night. Um, I guess I will add a... Um, a... Uh, locked door. I don't know what else to do. Yeah, I guess I'll put an electronically sealed door and then you have to, like... And then you have to, um... You have to deactivate the door from somewhere else. Man, like, I'm, I'm so tempted to add dots like Pac-Man for, for cleaner bot to eat. But that wouldn't make any sense. Wait! Yes, it would! He's a cleaner bot! He cleans stuff! Oh, man. Oh, man. I like. I like. But what gameplay function would that serve, though? Um... Um... I don't know. Let's work on another screen. Um, I, uh... I feel like you guys are probably getting pretty tired of this one. Understandably so. So let's bust out the paper. Well, what'd I just do? So this is gonna be a first. JPG says, I think interactive comics are like single-player PCGs to me, because when you get a bad ending, you can try again or save game. Yeah, um, they are kind of like that. I mean, when I when I made a PCG interactive comic um, uh, for a video on this channel, um, I, I yeah, I, I definitely noticed that as well. Like, I, I, like every time I like went back, I was tempted to say save game, even though it's an interactive comic and not a PCG. Yeah, it is a lot like that. Um, I mean, definitely it's its own form. It's not exactly the same thing, but that similarity is definitely there. Um... All right, so let's let's uh, attach this to the previous screen. Like so. I mean, it's not going to be actually physically attached, but I'm just going to continue from where these walls started. Then JPG says, "How many screens will there be? Like, like in in this paper game, or in um, or in uh, Cold Brooding Werewolves game?" I 
Oh, okay. Hmm. So. Um. Via, are you still there? I think you just tried to call me, but I couldn't take it because it would interrupt the stream. Um. Pulverting World said, Zach, the coolest guy. Oh, thanks so much. Via says, Zach, I'm calling you. It's PCG related. Yeah, but see, like, my phone is what I'm using for this camera right now. If you can. All right, fine, fine, I'll take the call, but briefly, briefly, all right? All right, call again, I'll take it, but briefly. Colbert Rule says, I think Via wants rat now. Why would you want a rat? She is a fan of small animals, though. So I won't deny that part. Whoa, whoa. Hello? Hello? Ah, shoot. I don't know what just happened. Man. All right, Via, if you're there, um, can you call me on Discord instead of on the phone? That way, like, people will be able to hear you on the stream, um, but I'll be able to keep doing my thing without, you know, like, interrupting the camera. Uh, let me let me let me open up Discord. Okay. What do I need to put in here? Well, there's going to be a passageway that goes this way, but they don't connect. Um, it's going to bend sharply upwards. And and this one is also going to be to go upwards. What am I doing, you guys? I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just ma making games blind. Via says, look, Zach, you haven't read the convo me and... Cold Brooding Werewolf had. Um, yeah, I did. Cold Brooding Werewolf said, Zach went nutsy. Yeah, that's what I do. JPG says, it would help, but I have school, and I'm trying to focus on school since I'm in high school. Yeah, I mean, school does take a lot of time. Um, I imagine. I never went to high school personally, but... Um, I imagine it would be very time-consuming. I did go to college, so if it's anything like that. Um, let's see, this is going to go up like this. Um, I'm doing online school, so I really never personally experienced it either. Oh, oh man. That's cool. Um, how is that doing online school? I mean, I, um, I was just completely homeschooled. In fact... Yeah, so, 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 like, I missed out on the experience entirely. Um, 
not that the experience I did have was any worse, necessarily. I'm just saying, like, I don't know what that's like. Um, Cobra Numero says, yeah, Zach would be so happy, I think. I don't know. I do like things that make me happy. JP just says, I sent you a picture of an upcoming game on Discord. All right, let me uh, show that on, let, let me uh, let me find that. Halo Infinite, nice. Nice art, I like all the details there. Really good, uh, really good cover, JPGS. Did you, um, like, I take, is it going to be a paper game or a PCG? I mean, you'd think you'd be able to tell because as like a new game load game thing, that's like a paper game feature, but nowadays a lot of PCGs have those as well, so you, you can never tell. Um... Oh shoot, I didn't show it. Dang it, I always forget to switch over. Okay, here we go. Here's the uh, here's the picture. You guys can see that now, right? Let me just Um In theory you should be able to. Zach will ride a bike in a mission. Sounds like something I would do. And in this PCG, only girl power is proved. Like duking out with boys. Sugoi. Oh man. That's pretty intense. But yeah, that's, uh, that is JPGS's uh, thing to jigger. And that, like I said, is pretty darn cool. All right, so let's get back to drawing stuff. Um. JPGS says what Halo Infinite means is there's infinite things to do. Oh, nice. An accurate cover. I dig. He says that Halo character is cool. Yeah, isn't that just Master Chief? But it's a really good drawing of him. I mean... <laughs> Art, Art Dia girl power. Art Dia. Art Dia. Artija. Dang it. How did Via say it? She said that, and I was like, oh, that's how you say it, but now I don't remember how she said it. Dang it. I think this is going to be a cleaner bot rest area. Does cleaner bot even fit in here? Kind of. Um. Just gonna indicate that there's some extra area. And this is like the, the top of a wall. There's like nothing up here. Kornero says C. <laughs> Via got so happy. Um. Okay, so... I may have written myself into a corner, because now where is this passage gonna go? It seems like this is just a loop and this goes to the left. 
Yeah, actually, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Yeah. Um... It's a serious question. Should I have soup or not? No, because soup sucks. That's right. That's right. I went there. I am I am coming out firmly in opposition to soup. Soup is the enemy. Do not eat soup. Huh. Well, I just lost all my subscribers. Uh Cobra Rural says yo sé verdad. We had more Spanish. <laughs> ah, the Spanish going on here. Si, sí, tu sabes. So for those not in the know, Cold Cru Breeding Werewolf says, Yo sé verdad, that's Spanish for, I know, true. And, uh, Via responds, Si, sí, tu sabes, which is Spanish for, yes, you know. And then Cold Breeding Werewolf says, Tu traidor de sopa, which is Spanish, for you soup trader. <laughs> JPGS says the Marvel Spider-Man PCG can work because in the actual game you pick up items and Easter eggs. Nice. Um, Via says that Zach, the soup is ramen. Um, yeah, that makes me like it even less. And then you're calling me a uh, traidor de sopa. Yeah, that's right. That is right. I am a traidor de sopa. I am betraying all soup everywhere. Soup is going down, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> JPG says, I'm probably going to make a list of moves to use for the combat system. That is cool. Colbert Morro says, oh, está bien, no importa. Which is Spanish for, oh, that's cool, no worries. Um... Yeah, so we are making this thing a loop. That is right. I've closed off all possibility of connecting this to another screen above. It's just not happening. This is just going to be a straight up boring old loop. That is right. Loop de loop de loop. Too bad. What are you guys gonna do about it? You guys gonna fight me? We're, we're, yeah, we're, we're gonna we're, we're gonna fight. Bring it on, you guys. Yeah, that's right. Cobra Room says, just only, just recently only, I started writing Spanish and not to talk Spanish. Yeah, that is cool that you do that, though. You never know. I mean, if you keep it up, you might actually legitimately learn Spanish. Especially if you check out the channel, PCGs in Espanol, which Via is speaking from right now. <laughs> Soup attack. <laughs> it's still shocking that Swamp Survival is still being played. I made a team up room. For the paper game server yeah seriously well i mean it was a good game um cold brooding world says vamos a luchar zach that is spanish for we're gonna fight and yes we are <laughs> you guys are going down um whoops dropped cleaner bot all right In Roblox? You're gonna beat me then, cause, cause like, I'm not very good at Roblox. I've played it just a little bit, because my nephew has it. But, I don't expect to win any fights. Um, let's, uh, this, this thing is going to go... So what is the purpose of this? Yeah, I want the, the space between passageways to look a little dark so it's clear where you can't go. V 
Bia says I became an animal in Roblox and could not turn back. Wait, really? You played Roblox? I didn't know that. Where Colbert and Rural says, Estás bajando de dolor, Zach, which is Spanish for you're going down for, with pain. <laughs> we'll see about that. We will see about that. He says, <laughs> see, you're going down in pain. <laughs> Colbert and Rural says, solo, bromean, somo, solo bromeo, meaning I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yo tambien. Which is Spanish for me too. JPGS says, every part of Swarm Survival when you play is an hour or two. Nice. Angry KP says, why are you spamming? Who's spamming? It's interesting making this as a paper game, not a PCG, because you can make it sort of more like a video game. You don't have to think about puzzles. You can, like, there's more, like, physicality to your movement. You know, like, like in a video game, it can be entertaining to just move through a space with, like, a controller. You just, like, you know, you just, you just take this controller and you're just gonna, like, doot, 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 and, like, just make him, like, move. And then that by itself can be rewarding. It doesn't have to, like, there's not as much pressure on you to make as many puzzles. Um, which is kind of cool. I mean, definitely PCGs are my thing for sure, but it's a nice change of pace. I kind of feel like, you know, I might want to, like, it might be fun to, like, make PCGs that are like sort of hybrids where like there's some segments that are PCG and some segments that are paper game because then it would make sense um like you don't have to feel like you have to come up with a PCG type puzzle for every area you have more freedom in terms of the kinds of gameplay you can have so like for example you know, in a sequence like this, where you have a robot going through a tiny corridor, you could be like, okay, for that sequence, it's a paper game. But then the, the area where, you know, there's like characters, you know, and stuff like that, you could add like um, more characters to talk to, more puzzles, more freedom. So like, yeah. Here's my question to you. Are paper games really a different kind of game or is it just another tool that you can use when you make games. Like every gameplay mechanic is a tool that you as a game creator can use, you know? Like save game, for example, that's a tool. You can turn it off, on or off in, when you're making a game um, to, 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 to make the experience better. Like in Chris's game, Ghosts, he decided that that game doesn't have save game because you know, it makes sense. You're a ghost. Ghosts, like, save game is a mechanic to deal with death. And ghosts are already dead, so you don't... They don't... They can't save game. That makes sense. And as a result of that, it made the game a lot more rewarding. Not that every game should be without save game, but that particular game, it was perfect for it. So, I think, like, the best thing is for you to have freedom to, like, just... Put whatever pieces you want to make your games... I mean, I made that whole video about, you know, our paper g computer games and paper games merging. And, you know, and Starry made some really good arguments saying that they, they, they can't. But, I'm, but now I'm starting to convince myself that maybe they kind of can, because even if those two styles of gameplay are not compatible, like, you can have both of them in different sections of the same game, you know? You can, you can make a game that's, like, hybrid, and, I, and like, people are going to stop caring which is which. It's just going to be, it's, it's, it's a paper computer game, or, you know, whatever you call it. And 
It just has some segments where you control your character with a controller and other segments where you, you know, just say what you're going to do. I think that's awesome. Um, I'm, I'm totally into it. Um, what are people saying? I've been ignoring chat. Um, JPGS, my remake mod will have a map expansion. Very cool. It's called Reading World. It says, Ya lo sé bien. That's Spanish for I know it well. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, I just ate dinner. I don't know why. Um, Colbert and Merle says, tu joystick, es, tu joystick es tan endeble? I actually don't know that word. Your joystick is so something. Fia says, we're not spamming. We're attacking Zach with soup. Yeah, well, get out of here. Soup sucks. You, you know what I'm going to do with your soup? Not eat it. That's what. Because soup, soup is bad. Ha. Ha. Fight me. Via says he's a soup trader and must learn to like soup. Yeah, not likely. Bring it on. Bring it. Colbert and Gorilla says, yes, paper games are mechanic for making real PC game. Yeah, totally. Um, Via says, Endeble says, not firm, wishy-washy. Oh, interesting. I did not know that word. Um, tu joystick es tan endeble. Totally. It's muy endeble. Muy, muy, muy endeble. Um, JPGS says, was there a sequel to what? I watched the first game really good. Thanks, man. Oh, you mean like to ghosts? <laughs> I mean, ramen is better. Okay, I'll keep my ramen. Oh, hey, Flames, what? Cereal is soup. Oh, man. I, you know, <laughs> listen, if, if, if cereal is soup, then a hot dog is a sandwich, and and Jupiter is a star, and, 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 and nothing means anything, and the world might as well just collapse into a big ball of, of chaos, because soup sucks, but cereal is very tasty. <laughs> No, but I mean, I, I don't actually have an argument against cereal being soup. That does sort of make sense. It's bits of food in, you know, a a liquid base. So, I mean, technically it's the same thing. JPGS says, was there a sequel to Ghosts? There, not a proper sequel. Chris made a sequel to Ghosts that was only a few screens and it was meant as a joke. So, um, it, it is called... Ghosts 2, and it, and then it has a bad word in the title because Chris was trolling me. Um, so the title is, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll say it in a safe way. The title is Ghosts 2 Bleep You. <laughs> That's the title. And it's a few pages long, and it actually, like, Chris intended it to be, like, the worst possible sequel to Ghosts that he could make. Um, and it actually ends up being a pretty decent... PCG. I mean, it's not as good as the original Ghost, for sure, like... But... It's a cool, like, side story in the Ghost's universe. It's with, like, it's, like, with a different character, but I, but I like the concept a lot. It's, it's it like, it, it does something new with the Ghost's premise. Um... Flamestall says, a big ball of chaos doesn't sound so bad to me as long as cereal is a soup. <laughs> no, man, no! No, <laughs> like I'm, I, I don't know if that would ruin cereal or make soup good, and neither of those things sound possible. But I don't like either of them. I don't like either possibility. Hey, Mebo Fibo, how's it going? Like he says, I'm creating Among Us map with polymer clay. Nice, that's awesome. Colberting Rebel says Jupiter is a place in Florida. Zach, wait, is it? All right, time to Google. Time to Google, you guys. Jupiter, Florida. Oh my goodness, it is a place in Florida. Check that out. The town of Florida. Population 65,000. Nice. I did not know that. I've never been to Jupiter, Florida. I have been to Florida, just not, not to Jupiter, Florida. Huh. The more you know. Um... Man, you're, you're you're in India, knowing more about my country than I know. <laughs> um, 
Anyways, let's make let's make another screen. I think this screen has definitely outlived its its usefulness. It has gotten boring. So let us move on to the next screen. Yeah, so this paper is actually bigger than the paper I was using before. So like the game is now lopsided. Like look at this. Look at this. Here is this is where the top of the the cover screen comes to and here's the top of the other game what the heck you guys jpg says i might make the game a single player pcg with act with actual pcg screens and a list of moves that's cool Colberti Werewolf says remake the cover. That's too much work. I'd rather like cut a little bit off the other screens if I had to do anything. Um, but it'll probably just not do anything. I mean, I, it'll just have to be lopsided. Maybe paper game number two that I make, if I ever make another paper game, will be more even. By the way, I finally got a... A pencil sharpener in here. Yeah, look how sharp. Look how sharp that is, you guys. Yeah, check that out. Alright. So, wait, how does this uh, match up to these previous two screens? Let's get these guys out of here. Um, react to me and my friend's channel craziness is awesome. What kind of channel craziness are we talking? We talking crazy craziness or like not so crazy craziness? Milo Fibus says, one time I told my mom, can we go to Jupiter? And she said, no, are you stupid? We can't go to Jupiter. And I said, mom, Jupiter is a, is a state. I'm not talking about the planet. My mom said, still no. Oh man. The before versus during the lockdown video. Oh man. All right. Um, in a bit, first. Let's get these, uh, let's get these nice sections matching up. Okay, so... Okay, so looks like... This page is gonna have two entrances. The other one, I'm gonna bend reality a little bit. We are going to say that the entrance is over here. Someone just messaged me on, on Discord. I don't know who it is. React to the video that I sent you in Discord. Okay, Via says lasagna attack. Coverting werewolf. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do that at the... Uh, at the like end of the stream once I'm done drawing because um I want to finish this first um so let's see okay so what do you actually have to do here what is even going on right now I don't even know um Listen, you guys, lasagna is pretty okay. I'm um, like lasagna is tasty. I would, I could go for some lasagna. All I know is that you know soup, soup is unnatural. You know should not exist. Whoever invented soup shouldn't have. Via says, "Oh my God, you finally got a pencil sharpener." Yeah, you know here's the thing, right? I actually already had a pencil sharpener. Um, uh, I, I already had a pencil sharpener. It was just upstairs. I just finally stopped being lazy and brought it down here. Uh, yeah. Um, Colbert and Rivers says, eat Indian fish curry. Yeah, but I just generally don't like any kind of, like, seafood, anything. There is, there is Indian food I like. I mean, there's Indian restaurants, you know, like, we have, like, Indian buffets that we go to sometimes. Very tasty. Um, I'm a big fan. Um, 
but seafood in general, not my thing. Um, Flame Salt says lasagna is Italian cake. Wait, it's Italian cake? But don't Italians also make like really good cake? It, wouldn't that be Italian cake? Via says I tried two things from India. Delicious. Cobra says Chinese created soup. PCG's in Espanol says, oh my god, I love her response about Jupiter. Wait, what'd you say about Jupiter? Dosa, 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 dosa? What's dosa? Well, all I know, you guys, is that I need to make more stuff in these screens. Um... So what is going to be going on over here? Dosa is a dish from India. Oh, okay. Yeah. I had like panek paneer, another kind of paneer, non bread, um, you know, eating it with rice. It's all very tasty. Ah, but Cold Brooding Werewolf, have you ever eaten American food? But that's a stupid question. There's probably like a million like American style like restaurants in India. I mean, I've never been to India, but every country I've been to, there's like, you know, there's McDonald's, there's like pizza places, you know, just like, just like, um, just like America. I mean, it was that way in Japan. It was that way in, uh, in Costa Rica. Right, Via? Am I crazy? Am I crazy? There, there's totally, like, pizza places in Costa Rica, right? Definitely McDonald's. I, like... I definitely ate at a lot of pizza places in Japan, though. Because... Some of them are traps, though. I'm not sure. <laughs> like, like, the thing about Jap Japan pizza is that they put a lot of seafood in it. Because they put a lot of seafood in everything. Like, they hide it, like, right? Like, you, you just, like, you, you order a pizza, like, because you don't know what it is. Like, oh, it's just a pizza. Whatever, I'll eat a pizza. But then it has seafood, like, underneath the cheese. Not like here where you get a pizza with anchovies on it and there's, like, little anchovies on top. No. It's, like, sort of like a seafood paste that's, like, baked under all throughout underneath the cheese. It was like, oh, man. <laughs> I really do not like seafood. So Japan was not the best food situation for me. Um, seafood is even worse than soup. Let me put it that way. Like, a good soup, like a good veggie soup, I'll eat it. Like, I won't seek it out, but if you put it in front of me, I'll be like, okay, this, is, this isn't terrible. But, like, seafood I legitimately have trouble with. Um... Flameshot says, if tomatoes are fruits, then pizza is a fruit pie. Yes, okay. Listen, Flamespot. Listen, let me let, let me stop you right there because you are absolutely correct. Number one, tomatoes are fruits because scientifically the definition of a fruit is, is a, uh, like, the mature ovary of a flowering plant. That is the, that is the scientific definition of a fruit. A tomato is a mature ovary from a flowering plant, so therefore it is a fruit. And a pizza is a pie, and it has tomato on it, which is a fruit. So yes, it is a fruit pie. So Flame Spot, you are absolutely correct. Um, Cold Burning Werewolf says, we have five star American restaurants. Via says, oh my God, McDonald's gets five stars out of the USA. Cold Burning Werewolf says, yes, we do have American restaurants in India like McDonald's, KFC, Domino's, Burger King. But we have five-star American... And we have five-star American restaurants. Oh, okay. Interesting. What do you... Well, like, what... I wonder what you they serve at a five-star American restaurant. Like, everything... You know... Well, like, everything I think of as American is sort of, like, not considered high-class food. Like, pizza, burgers, french fries, cherry pie. You know, like, nothing like... I don't know. 
I guess you could like steak and potatoes, maybe. <laughs> Mio says that's like so weird. Um, Mebo Fibo says in the UK, McDonald's has pancake burgers with a pancake instead of the meat and syrup instead of ketchup. And you'd think it would taste disgusting, but it actually tastes super good. That is weird. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> I am very curious. Via says, Zach, yes, you are crazy. And yes, we do have American restaurants. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I'm sure I've eaten at a ton of them when I was there. I, it's just been so long. I don't remember. It's been about 12 years since I went to Costa Rica. And Costa Rica. Da -da -da -da. The cool thing about Costa Rica, just, just just random thing aside, like most people might not appreciate this, but what I enjoyed about Costa Rica is that there's just random dogs everywhere, like in the city, like because I, I was in San Jose, which is like the the capital city, and like a huge portion of the population lives there, and there's just dogs everywhere, just like like n no one's walking them, they're just walking around by themselves, and and nobody cares. They just dogs are just walking around, just chilling, you know like just hanging out and like they're totally comfortable with people every now and then one of them barks at somebody but nobody cares they just keep walking it doesn't matter um one time legitimately legitimately i was in costa rica and i i'm sitting at a restaurant right eating food and like my foot keeps kicking something underneath my bench i'm like huh what is this like this is weird it's it's all soft did somebody like leave their bag under the under the bench and so I lean over backwards and look under my bench, and it's a dog. There's a dog under my bench just, like, looking back at me like, why are you kicking me, dude? I wasn't even offended. Just like, just like, oh, some guy's kicking me. Oh, well. Well, I guess I'll just keep laying here. <laughs> like, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. Via says, Zach, you see how in America everything tastes like chicken? Same thing in Japan. Everything tastes like seafood. Yeah, I mean, I guess. <laughs> Fair enough. Via says, I don't know, I'm making it up. Fruit pie. Mebo Fibo says, I never knew there was wild dogs. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they're wild or what. Or, or, or like what the situation is. All I know is when I went there, there was like just dogs everywhere just walking around. Um, we don't have Eggo or Jollibee. What's Jollibee? Or spaghetti or burritos or sausages. Oh, okay. Mibo Fibo says you kicked a dog and the dog didn't care. I mean, it didn't kick it super hard. It was just like, you know, bump, bump. What is this? Bump, bump, you know? It was a pretty chill dog. Um, anyway, I should, I should draw. I feel like I'm boring you guys talking about, you know, other countries and stuff like that. Weaver says, nor do we eat beef because we consider beef slash cows as an idol. I mean, goddess. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, what? Uh, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I've always been curious about that. Like, what? Like, like, um, I don't think I, I know, like, what the what the reasoning behind that is or like why cows are considered you know sacred or idols or goddesses like you're saying um via says stray dogs not wild dogs yeah yeah that's right because 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 wild dogs would be would would not be used to humans they would be like freaking out at everybody but stray dogs can be pretty ch like they're 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 civilized they're they're used to being around humans and surviving in human habitats they're just not owned by a particular person um that makes sense so what is happening on this screen you guys okay let's let's actually think about this let us actually think about you know people says wild dogs are called wolves well I mean, sort of. I mean, technically, wolves and dogs are the same species, but they're different, like, subspecies. So, like, there is a biological difference between a dog and a wolf, even though, like, they're the same species, so they're compatible with each other. But 
like, I think wolves are less domesticated. Like, if you were to actually try to raise a wolf as, as a puppy and try to make it a pet, it would be harder to have as a pet because they're not as domesticated as dogs. Like, biologically. Colbert Rubble says, Dogs first went to the lion, then to the bear, then to wolves, then to foxes, and last humans. Wait, what does that mean? Colbert Rubble says, Hey, care about birds too. Yeah, that's true. Alright, so, um... Okay, so here is my first screen. Okay. Here is my whole system of screens. Let me let me back you guys up so you can see this a little bit better, I think. Um, so the system over here, here's how this works, right? Um, you come in over here, this is where you start, and then the goal is to get inside of this room over here, right? Um, you want to get in here, So, um, dang it, um, birds get dead because of the smoke in the air. Oh yeah, totally. Um, because says birds are dinosaurs. That is what they taught us at Liberty Science Center. That is technically true. Depending on how you, you know, people says chickens are dinosaurs. Co-brooding world says they died due to the radiation of cell phone towers. Um, do they? I don't know. I don't know about that. They die of everything that makes them die. That is true. That is definitely true. Birds die due to the radiation of cell phone towers, and that is confirmed in India. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll Google it in a bit, like, but right now I want to, I want to figure out this screen. Um, okay, so the goal is to get into here, right? You can go up here, and here is a charging station for a, for a cleaner bot. But what does that do for me? Why do I care if there's a charging station there? Either that means like you can recharge, or um, it means that. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Either it means that you can recharge or that there's another cleaner bot here recharging, which means something for you. But if but if this is here so that you can recharge, then you're going to have to keep coming back here, which means that there has to be a system to keep track of like how much energy you have or something, and you can like lose energy. But, the, but that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, since this whole cleaner bot sequence is only going to be three screens in the rest of the game. Is not going to involve cleaner bot. Um, uh, so what, like, what do I need to do to unlock this door? Um, well, cleaner bot is a cleaner bot. So, oh my goodness, what if this was like Pac Man? What if? What what if like you have to go through all the corridors and clean out all the garbage? Um But 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 why would you have to do that? That doesn't make any sense. Cold Brooding Werewolf says, because due radiation due to radiation, its eyes will become straight, which doesn't make birds to see straight, but when its eyes in different positions, it can see straight. Alright, I have to Google this. I I am very curious. Let's let's find out what the story behind this is. I'm a little bit skeptical and a little bit thinking it might be true and either way curious. Evil Phoebus says they also die of people who shoot them and thunder and natural causes and sicknesses and getting killed by other animals and radiation and phone and bad eating bad food and of heart attacks. <laughs> Pac-Man. Colbert and Werewolf says or just watch the Bollywood movie 2.0. Interesting. Alright, let's Google this. Birds die of phone mobile radiation.
<laughs> I like this illustration here. What is going on? By the way, you guys can see my screen, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Milo Fibo says, wait, Bollywood? Do you mean Hollywood? Um, no, Bollywood is like the, the, hold on. Uh, I can't take the call right now. Sorry, uh, Colbert and Werewolf. Uh, Bollywood is, um, Bollywood is the Indian equivalent of Hollywood. It's where they make all those, like, you know, movies with a lot of, like, dances and, you know, that kind of stuff. Those are Bollywood movies. Um, anyway, yeah. Avian and exotic animal specialist has been a practicing veterinarian for over a decade now in India's financial capital and has always maintained that her feathered patients are superior intelligence to even canines. Da -da -da. But this year we found that at least 12 birds had lost their way. Why are they? Why were they bumping into poles and why were they flying so low in populated areas has become a matter of concern. Across India, rescuers and experts in the avian field are recounting similar abnormal behavior. What was a daily subject of conversation for those concerned with the field of ornithology has now entered the public domain following the release of Director Shankar's 2.0. Oh, that's what you mentioned, isn't it? <laughs> um, starring actors Rajan Kanth and Arshay Kumar in lead roles. Okay, but this is a movie, though. Um, according to the National Institute of Environment and Health, EMFs are invisible areas of energy, often referred to as radiation, that are associated with the use of electrical power and various forms of natural and human-made lightning. Da -da 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 -da. Many experts have pointed out that cell phone towers emit non-ionized radiation that is different from nuclear radiation. While these rays cannot penetrate deep into the cells of humans or affect molecular structure, they create very stressful situations for birds in urban areas where there's a larger concentration of the towers. Um, as recent as May 2018, an analysis of 97 studies concluded that radiation from cell phone towers, phone masts, Wi-Fi, and broadband transmitters is a potential risk to insect and bird orientation and plant health. Interesting. So I guess you're right, cold brooding werewolf. It can disorient them, and when they're disoriented, I guess they can be killed. It very, very good to know. Learn new things every day. Um. Via says I once watched a Bollywood movie in a theater. They had a lot of dancing. Yeah, I couldn't understand anything. It was an experimental thing to watch it. Um. Colbert and says, but watch Shankar's 2.0. It can tell these things with a lot of actions. Okay. Okay, so what am I doing, you guys? What am I doing? How am I... How do I... How do I... How, 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 how do I make this game? Okay, so what we need to have is a thing... Flamespot says, I just took a quick shower and was enlightened. <laughs> Excellent. Colbert and Werewolf says, a paper game. Yes, indeed. I am making a paper game. That is true. Um, I mean, the good thing about doing PCG Making Mondays is that it makes me actually make games. So it's definitely working in that respect. But the bad thing about it is I keep getting distracted by chat. So... I can't, well, it, like, it's hard to focus on, on, like, thinking out the game. Like, this is better to do if you have a clearer idea of what you're going to make, I think. Oh, God, Flamesod says pizza is actually tomato soup in a bread bowl. All right, all right, I'm going to have to contest you there. How is it a soup? <laughs> How is it a soup? <laughs> um... <laughs> There's, there's no water, though. There's no water. Where's the water? Or not water, but liquid. Where's the liquid? I guess if we wanted to get technical, I mean, there is moisture in it. But for that matter, there's moisture in everything. Like, any food you eat has moisture. So anything is a soup, if you think about it. 
but I, I wouldn't count that because like in a regular soup it's like chunks of stuff in liquid whereas in a pizza it's like little bits of liquid in stuff you know so I feel like that's the difference Colbert Doing Rebel says via Bollywood will have some real life problems made into movies and some more movies with fantasy and Chennai Express that was very cool Flamesfile says tomato paste is liquid enough <laughs> oh cause like right the bread is the bowl tomato paste it's not liquid enough is it Oh, man, I don't have to think about... Like, the viscosity is really high, though. Like, come on, though. That That is that is some... I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I, I, I'm a little bit... I'm a little bit skeptical about this. Flame Sloth says, therefore, everything is soup. <laughs> listen. Listen. I am not letting the soups win. They are not taking over everything. <laughs> Me believe this says, tomato juice... Is juicy chunks of fruits and veggies. That is true. I guess that could be a soup. Via says, Zach, you're a soup. No, you're a soup. Viva <laughs> says, don't search it up. Flame Spot says, boom, enlightened. Colberting Marvel says, Zach, eres sopa, which is Spanish for Zach. You are soup. No, Via's soup. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Keegan Sitcher says, what are you guys talking about? Well, Flamespot had brought up the idea of, like, whether cereal is a soup, and we were arguing about that while I'm trying to make this paper game over here. And now we're arguing about whether pizza is a soup, because pizza is, like, tomato... Like, it's a tomato soup in a bread bowl. And I'm not having it. I'm just... I'm not having it, you guys. Um... Google <laughs> Brooding Girl says we got distracted. Flamespot says, all great and powerful soup. No, no. I will not bow down to the soups. <laughs> oh, man. Keegan says, I'm very confused. Oh, man, I'm sorry, Keegan. But the important thing is, I am making a paper game. So, um, like, right now, I'm trying to create a maze for my character. This is, uh, this is Cleanerbot, and he's walking around. And by walking, I mean, like, kind of rolling or whatever. And I'm trying to create a um, an environment for him to walk through because we have to find a thing that opens this door over here on the other screen. Mibo Vivo says, oh no. <laughs> Mibo Vivo says, inside of, of our body is water and meat and chunky stuff, so we are soup. And only cannibals that eat humans can taste our soup. Okay, okay. First of all, first of all, Mimo Pipo. First, I'm not even going to go into the whole cannibal thing. But I will say that, that like, the difference is a soup is, like, liquid with, like, chunks of stuff in it. Whereas a human is stuff with, like, liquid inside of it. So I feel like that's the opposite of a soup. I don't think that's a soup. Not everything is soup, you guys. Um, Keegan says, I have a question. Sure, what's up? What's, what, what's the question? <laughs> Alabado, alabado se la sopa, Zach? I, I don't actually know the word alabado. Is that a Spanish word? Se la sopa, Zach, is, is like, would be the soup, Zach. But, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, yeah. We are trying to make this here, this here paper game. Um, and I will make an entrance over here. I'm trying to focus so I don't lose all the new people who tuned in for a paper game video and don't want to get distracted with soup. <laughs> um, Flamespot says the earth is soup with gravity. Oh no, okay, okay, look. Look, Flamespot, look. Oh shoot, you're right, aren't you? Dang it. No, 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 because the Earth is a thing, right? It's a solid object, and there's water on the top of it. That's not soup. That's the opposite of a soup, right? I, I don't know. Keegan says, how does the PCG shop work? Do you print the PCG out or something? Yes, let me show you, uh, well, like, um, real fast, but yes. Um, I'll go to the PCG shop real fast so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, here we are in the PCG shop. 
here's uh, here's all of the paper computer games that are available, or you can go up here to your PCG shops, and that's just each individual person can create their own their own little PCG shop within the PCG shop. Here's Flame Spots. He has one game on it, and like if you want to print out that game, you click on it. He has a little description, and you can you zoom in or whatever. You click Add to Cart, and you go through all the instructions like you're buying it, except that it costs zero dollars and zero cents. And then once you buy it, you can print it out. Like, uh, and uh, yeah, that 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 that's how that works. Um, you you can set up your own shop in the PCG shop uh, if you want to. There's videos right here on the front page of the PCG shop that show you how to do that, how to upload your own video, um, how to you know how how to you know all the all the basic stuff you need to know about that so yeah that is my explanation for that vss yes keegan you print them and play them they are free yes correct um alabado se ala sopa oh praise the soup zach oh I did not know that word. Oh, Via says alabar to praise. Oh, interesting. I never heard that word. Alabar. Te alabo, you guys. Te, te voy a alabar. Les voy a alabar porque hay muchos de, de ustedes. Um, I should ta stop speaking Spanish because most people here probably do not understand it. Um, Keegan says, I just found one that looks kind of cool. Well, try it. I mean, download it. You know, worst case scenario, you download it and it's bad, but hey, you know, it's free, so the price is right. Download it, check it out. If you don't like, like it, try another one, you know? Via says, in the continents and life in it is the ingredients in the plants or vegetables. You guys, the earth is not soup. It is not a soup, you guys. The continents are attached to the ground, I mean, to, 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 to the bottom, you know? I mean, granted, they are sliding around on tectonic plates, but they're attached to those plates, though. So, the Earth is not a soup. Although, if you get into it, there is, like, a layer called the asthenosphere, which is molten. Ah, no. We're not even going there. The Earth is not a soup. Get out of here, you guys. Get out of here. <laughs> it's called Sky Zone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mebo Feeble says, the Milky Way galaxy is soup. How? <laughs> Dude, okay. The Milky Way galaxy is like stars and planets like orbiting. And there's a lot of dark matter as well, but none of that is liquid. None of that is liquid. The Milky Way galaxy is not a soup. <laughs> the Milky Way galaxy is not a soup. Flames says space soup? No, no space soup. <laughs> Dang it. Colburning Grove says the Milky Way Galaxy is cereal? No! You guys. Because there's milk and the stars are cereal. Oh no! Oh no! So technically, if you get into it, there is no milk. What looks milky in the Milky Way is the stars. It's just that they're so far away and there's so many of them that it looks like sort of like a faintly milky thing. But it's just stars. So the stars technically are the milk. And if anything, the planets would be the seer. Oh man, why am I contributing to this? Dang it. Dang it. What's the dark matter then? Because most of the galaxy is actually... Most of the matter in the galaxy is actually dark matter. Um, cereal is hot soup. Uh, Keegan Sixer says, I'm sorry, what were you talking about? I was scrolling through the PCG shop. We were arguing about whether the Milky Way galaxy is soup. <laughs> um, and uh, spoiler alert, it isn't. It is not soup. Milky Way galaxy is a galaxy. It's 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 not a soup. <laughs> Mevo Fibo says the sun is where you go when you be bad and die. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean... I mean... I don't even know what to say about that. I'm, uh... The sun is actually pretty cool, so... 
So, I don't know if that's that bad. Like, the sun... Like, I would love to explore the inside of the sun if I could. <laughs> Via says, these puns are great. Oh, no, Via is the ma master punster. Evo Pebo says, if, you, and if you're good and die, you turn to a ghost and stay on Earth. Which is better? I'm not like, which of these scenarios is better? Is it better to be a ghost on Earth or a ghost in the sun? I mean, I guess, like, I'd have to know what it's like to be a ghost in the first place. So, I don't know. Evo Pebo says, it's so hot you'll burn forever. Yeah, but anything you do forever, I mean, eventually you'd have to get used to it. I mean, like, you'd find ways to, 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 to start ignoring the pain. Like, it would just start to turn into white noise. And then you just, after a while, like, all right, well, yeah, that sucks. But let me, uh, let me pass the time by exploring that over there. Um, also, by the way, the sun will not exist forever. So, so... Like eventually, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna turn into other stuff. All right, have a good night uh, or have a good day, cold breeding werewolf. Thanks for joining. Um, oh, hey, welcome, Sonic the PCG. Cold breeding werewolf says, "Don't finish the stream yet." Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna at least try and draw some more before I finish the stream. If you guys fail to keep distracting me, let's see. Um. Via says, Art Dia and Soup Power. Oh no. Sonic the PCG says, Don't end, please. Yeah, I'm not going to end yet. Um, okay, so what do we want to put? Like, I don't want to put something in the middle because let's put a crossroads in the middle. I put like an, an important room in the middle in the other two screens, so this thing has to ha just have a boring middle. It's just going to be like a crossroads. But I don't know what else to do with this room, though. I really should have thought this out before I started the stream. Um, Mewo Viva says, It will explode and we will all die, but I bet you $1,000 billion that we will be dead already before the sun explodes. Um, I'll take that bet. <laughs> I plan to be alive at that time, and I plan to escape because all you have to do to escape the sun expanding and consuming the Earth is to just leave in a spaceship. Just head for another star and you'll be good for another few billion years. Um, <laughs> of course, um, this flame sauce says, I hear soup helps you think better. You should get some right now. Yeah, I mean, I would, but you know, but, 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 but I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh man. Although, what if it was cereal, though? In that case, maybe, like, if it's cereal, maybe we'll talk. Mibo Fibo says, we will, all, we will all already be dead by the time the sun explodes. Technically, it's not going to explode. It's just going to kind of, like, expand and consume the Earth. But yes, um, it will be, that will be... Um, billions of years from now, so would not worry about that. Oh man, you know, but I like. Wait, uh, Via says when I was little, my mom used to give me fish soup for final. Ugh, that's like my two least favorite things combined: fish and soup. Ugh, <laughs> used to give me fish soup for finals test at school so I could study better. Colbert and says, "Yeah, if there's no sun, we will freeze to death." Keegan says, okay, I'm going to make a very hard PCG. Not like, I, not like, oh, I keep dying. More like, foo. <laughs> awesome, Keegan. I am looking forward to seeing what you come up with. That is, That sounds very intense. I'm into it. <laughs> um, so what, 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 what is the puzzle, you guys? Like, I need to put a switch to... Um, Okay, so who's calling me? All right, I'll take a quick call. Hey, what's up, Via? Hello? Hello? Hi, could you mute your stream? Hello? Hello? 
What's up? Yeah, how are you doing? I'm just um, able to tell you how to say Ardia. Ardia? Yeah, how? No, 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 you're saying Ardia. And it's supposed to be Ardia. Ardia? Ardia. Ardia. Yes. Ardia. There we go. Thank you. Say it faster. Artia, Artia. And Superpower! Superpower wins this, this night! No, get out Thank of here! Thank you everybody for the soup power! No! We're continuing with the soup! Yes. No more soup! Get out of here with the soup! Ah! Soup is the best, especially fish soup! No, that is the worst kind of soup imaginable! Like, listen... <laughs> If, if you gave me fish soup right now, I would, I, I, I would, I would just like throw up like right now, like right on the stream. No, you wouldn't. Yeah, probably not. But no, it would be no. hard not to. I would, I would exercise um, all my so willpower. Question for you, Zach. Yeah. Will you um? Will you participate uh, on, on Cold Brewing um, Werewolf uh, thing about about the, the boys for 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 the scenes for his future PCG slash um, comic? Sure. Uh, if you if you uh, send me a script or whatever like lines to do, I will. I'd be happy to uh, record them. Cold Brewing Werewolf. So, I kind of also want to participate and I want to make sure that you are into this. Yeah, totally. Also, alright, so I'm gonna go back to what you're looking for. Oh, power! So no. power! Urgh. Get out of here, soap power. Please uh, <laughs> watch that soup power. No, no, you guys, no. Um, let's see. I, I missed what chat was saying this whole time. Um, Flamesaw says, well, probably solar flares would kill us before the sun gets anywhere close to exploding. Yeah, I mean, like, well, solar flares are pretty deadly. Yeah, if one came anywhere near here, yeah. But, I mean, what, what's actually going to happen is the sun is just going to expand when it moves into that phase of its life. It's going to, like, just expand, and it'll be... It'll still be the sun, it'll still be a star, but now the Earth will be inside of it. That's how big it'll be. So, we will get burned to a crisp. The Earth will still sort of exist, but there won't be anybody on it. So, if anybody's still alive at that time, we will want to get off of the planet with spaceships and move to, like, a planet further out in the solar system, because then it would be possible to still live there for a while. Um... Keegan says, I just thought of a main, uh, I just thought of a main character, Sean the Stickman. I like it. I like it already. Sean the Stickman. I, I, I approve. Colbert and Rebel says, yeah, I'm supporting you via. Colbert and Rebel says, yes, she is right, Zach. Awesome. Meanwhile, people says, poop is soup. Colbert and Rebel says, poop is not soup. Am I going to have to think about this? No, like, no. Wait. Oh my god. Oh my god, poop is soup. Oh no. Oh god. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I like that. That backs up my point. Soup sucks. And... Yeah. Yeah, like, like this is my new talking point, you guys. If you eat soup, you're basically eating poop. Because poop is soup. <laughs> it's stuff in water. So... How can you really argue it's not soup? <laughs> oh, this is disgusting. Um, Mibo says poop is food and drink that is mushed together with multiple food inside. That is true. Also, it depends on, like, really anything is food and drink because it doesn't have to be food and drink for humans. I mean, there's, like, bacteria that eat, you know, that stuff and stuff like that so technically that counts as food flame says sun is spicy soup okay no 
No, let me spot you. Let me stop you right there. Right there. Because the sun is not a... Sp first of all, first of all, the sun is not made out of liquid. It is made out of plasma, which is the fourth state of matter. Um, it's not a gas. It's not a liquid. It's not a solid. It's a plasma, which is basically an ionized gas, which is not liquid. There's no liquid in the sun. I mean, there's like particles of, of water in it, but it's not liquid water, so it does not count. So, no, sun is not soup. Um, yeah, everybody be ready to be dead years before the sun explodes. Yeah, but not me, though. Uh, the company world says, new one-liner added in the post critic scene of Mirage of Zuvac. Nice. Boring, shut up, nerd. Listen, listen. I'm a nerd. This is this is how I roll, okay? This is how I roll. Flame Spot says, My bad, sun is fancy spicy soup. <laughs> it's not any kind of soup, it doesn't have liquid. It doesn't have chunks and it doesn't have liquid. It doesn't have any of the components of soup. <laughs> Fibo Fibo says, My grandpa is super stupid because he put the whole entire toilet paper roll in the toilet and then he put the soap bar on top. Whoa. Colbert and Grove says it's the flame spot attack. Oh. Well, listen. It doesn't matter. I like. I'm still. I'm still a stupid nerd. That. That is still how I roll. Um. <laughs> okay. Um. Where am I gonna put this? Okay. So here's here's what I'm gonna do. Right. There's gonna be a pressure pad on like this floor that you have to step on. That's part one of the activation key. Uh, this is this is what I have to come up with. This is this is like, this is this is like, um, half souped or half. Uh, it's not me thinking good. This is not a good puzzle. This is this is like a half puzzle, but whatever. You have to. It's a paper game, so it doesn't have to be as involved as a paper computer game. Anyway, so that's fine. Um, you have to. Step on this pressure plate, and then another pressure plate as well. Zach, please react to my video at the end, okay? Should I put some enemies in these halls? I feel like maybe I should put some in. Oh, that's a good idea. Why would there be enemies, though? Like, this is a company facility, and CleanerBot works for the company, so there's no reason why there would be enemies. Um... <laughs> Via yeah, so much fun. Cobra New Rural CC, same here, Via. <laughs> How are you guys? Thank you guys for your participation. Oh, hey, Detune Paper, how's it going? Welcome aboard. We're drawing paper games, and everyone in chat is distracting me by by making me think about questions like, is the earth soup? Is pizza soup? Is cereal soup? Is the Milky Way galaxy soup? The answer to all of which is no, because, because soup sucks, and I reject soup. So that is what I have to say about that. <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. This is no longer game design. This is just me making passageways. Like you guys have successfully like broken my brain. Keegan's sister says I'm drawing a lot. That's awesome. 
That's the good thing about these PCG making Mondays is that everyone always seems to draw while I'm doing it. Which is super cool. Like, PCG making Mondays, like, I like the idea that it's not just me making a PCG. It's a time for the community to make PCGs, you know? Like, I kind of like the idea of, like, of, like, maybe trying a PCG making Mondays where, like, a bunch of people call in and, like, put, their, put the camera on their paper while they draw as well. So it can be me making a PCG while somebody else also makes their PCG. Um, and another person, you know, like, a, you could have, like, a bunch of people at one... That might get too crazy or too hectic. I don't know. I don't know. But, but, but... That kind of makes me want to try it. I like, I li yeah. <laughs> um, d -Tune Paper says, I'm drawing right now. Awesome. Keegan Citrus says, I'm drawing my first PCG. That is awesome. I, I'm very curious what you will come up with. d -Tune Paper says, just like to put paper games slash PCG content on in the background while I draw. Nice. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it is inspiring, isn't it? Like, uh, like putting stuff on for the thing that you're doing, you know? Like, just put yourself in that headspace. I should try that. Just, just like to put, oh yeah, um... Colbert says, I said after hearing Zach saying his one-liner and got sad. Oh, man. V Via says, Zach, draw a soup. Listen, by your standards, I already did. You know, according to you guys, everything is a soup. So everything here is a soup. You should be happy already. Oh? What's that? Is that not satisfying for you? Is that not what you wanted when you told me to draw a soup? Maybe that's because not everything is a soup. Ha! Ha! I win. <laughs> Zach, you got a new one-liner. If you eat soup, you eat poop. That is true. Meebo people says, draw an enemy. It's a guy with soup and he spills the soup. I kind of like that. Pia says, wait, we're supposed to make PCGs. I have failed at this task today. Listen, don't worry about it. Make them when you feel inspired. Don't make them when you don't feel inspired. Have fun. Like, you know, this is a this is a creative time for whoever feels like being creative. Um, an enemy that, okay, let's see what I can do. Let us see what I can do. Enemy that spills soup. But this isn't like maintenance hatches. So what would be an enemy that would spill soup? Maybe if there was a robot to, 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 to deliver food to people. All right, got it. You've got like, because this is designed by the company, this is how it's gonna go, right? Here's how I roll, right? You've got this little one wheeled thing. And it is a robot. And it has like little scrawny arms that it uses to hold the soup. And here's the soup. And it's got little angry eyes. And here's our character. That is our that is our enemy. Now, step number two, to cut it out. Where's my scissor? Where is my scissor, you guys? Where'd you put my scissor? Ah. You guys hide my scissor from me again. This won't make soup win, you know. Um. <laughs> Zach went nuts on soup. Yeah. Well. <laughs> that 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 called for me to go nuts. Um. Mebo said. Mebo feels his cleaner bot must dodge the soups filled on the floor because it will break him because it's a liquid. Yeah, but he's a cleaner bot though. He should be able to clean it. 
It doesn't matter. I'll, 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 I'll find a way. Um, Meanwhile, people say, uh, Colburn Grove says, or dude, make a series where you make what the stream says. Remake a PCG? Huh. That's an interesting idea as well. <laughs> you said nut soup? No, he said Zach went nuts about soup. Colbert Real says, make a series where you make a PCG with the stream says so. Yeah, that's a, that's a good idea. Um, all right, we're going to have to use the broken scissors. We are going to... Oh, is this going to work? This is not going to work. We're doing this anyway. We're going in, you guys. This is an intense mission. Uh, all right, all right, we're going to try. All right, we're going we're gonna to cut. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it's not cutting. Oh, it's cutting. It's cutting. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. And there you have it, Mebo Feebo. This is your soup spilling robot enemy who will be causing no end of chaos to Cleaner Bot during these screens. Alrighty. So that will definitely appear in the game. Um, Keegan says, I'm, I think I'm almost done with my first page. Nice. Let's see, gotta, gotta do some coloring. I think we're done on this screen. Let's get out of these cleaner bot screens once and for all. But that unfortunately means I'll have to actually think about what this game is about. I don't remember what I said last time. Oh god, I'm doomed. Via says, tonight Zach will dream about soup. You wish. You guys wish. Colberting Rebel says, will you upload it in the PCG shop, Zach? Yeah, totally. Remind me, though, because, like, you know, at some point I'm just going to have a big, um, I'm just going to make a big surge of uploading all my PCGs to the PCG shop, because not enough of them are on it. Like, barely any of them are on it, so... That needs to change. And not only my PCGs, but, like, my friends' PCGs as well. Like, I've been hardcore neglecting the PCG shop, and it's just been kind of coasting on the fact that you guys have been making awesome PCGs, which is cool, but it's not enough. It's not, a, like... I mean, it is enough, but it's also, like, I should give it some love as well, you know? Because, like, there's a... Like, there's we have a good library of paper computer games that are that over here that you guys are not getting to experience the joys of and that needs to change as soon as possible um colbert and rose says keegan i'm very excited on your new pcg awesome keegan says but i but i have one problem i don't know what to name it oh no um yeah i don't know um i have to know about the game but i will tell you you know the title will come to you when, like, what, like, as the game comes together, as you develop more and more of it, it'll come to you. And even if it doesn't, I don't know. Listen, listen, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, like, I think there was a game that, like, my friend Kurt made, like, that, you know, it was just a super, super long and intense game. We didn't know what it was called until, like, halfway through the game. With space balls, I think. But he kind of like, as the game developed, as I played it, as I interacted with the characters, he he figured out how to, um, you know, what to title it. So, yeah, the most important thing is the gameplay. The most important thing is having a game that is playable. The title comes it comes after. There have even been a lot of like random PCGs that just don't have a title, and it doesn't matter because they're fun. I mean, it makes it harder for me to, to 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 wiki about them. There's a lot of just like articles of like untitled PCG, untitled like 
Like, if it's a game where you're in a car, I'll just, like, call it Untitled Car PCG in on, like, the PCG wiki, you know, for example. Um, Via says, PCGs are now accepting donations for art supplies so Zach can get scissors, pencils, tape, and colored pencils. Oh, no. I have scissors. I just don't want to interrupt the stream to go get them. Like... Right now I have eight viewers and that's nice. I feel like if I go, if, if I say BRB and I go get a scissor, when I get back I'll have like four viewers. <laughs> so, like, I have an incentive to, 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 to stay where I am. Um. Via donations to 1800, Zach secretly loves soup, no! <laughs> No, <laughs> soup sucks. Listen, soup is like you're eating soup and you're like, okay, I'm eating soup. But then, you know, you're still eating soup. And after a while, you realize you still haven't finished the soup. You're still eating the soup and you're like, what the heck? And then once you're done, you know, it's like you don't even know when you're done. You know, it's like there's all this broth. Like, do I, am I supposed to drink the broth? You know, what am I supposed to do? You know, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, we are done with this screen. Okay. So, um... What are we... Go so, Keegan finished page one. That is awesome. Cobra Doom Grove says, Zach is like Squidward from the Spongebob episode where Squidward doesn't like Krabby Patty but secretly loves it. Yeah, it's like that except for the part where I secretly love it because I don't. <laughs> I secretly hate it. <laughs> That's the secret. That's the hidden part. Like, it, it, see, I'm pretending to hate it while secretly liking it, but that whole thing is the secret. The reality is, I hate it. That's the reality beneath the pretension of the whatever. People, people says ramen is delicious. Cobra Doom Grove says, Zach, react to my video. Okay, I will react to your video. You sent it to me on Discord, so let's let's hit that up. Okay, so um, let's pause the music for a second. Oh, we've got some people in this video. Wait, is this your video? Wait, this isn't it. Is this the one you want me to react to, um, Cobra Doom Wolf? I'm sorry, went to bath. Okay, I'll take a quick call, Cobra Dreamer Wolf. Yellow? Okay, I'll take a quick call, Cobra Dreamer Wolf. Yellow? Okay, I'll take a quick call, Cobra Dreamer Wolf. Hello, there's Axwa. In the video. Yeah. Oh, which which video is it? This one that you sent me in Discord that you one want? One minute, Bob. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But listen, share your screen first. I can't even see your screen. I see your screen. Uh, okay, one second. Um, I'm gonna have to call you back because I'm on Firefox instead okay. of Chrome. Let me go into Chrome. But these are videos for the big video. This is your this is your spoiler. Whoa, whoa, look at all this stuff. This is all stuff for the big video. I just spoiled you guys. Okay, so um anyway. Um <laughs> I need to stop doing that. I think that that particular trolling is getting old, but whatever. Um Okay, now, um, in theory, you should Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. In theory. Let me just, uh, one minute. Okay. Um, what is everybody saying? Let me put the music back on. I don't know why I turned it off. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, please go. Okay, so, um, Culberting Werewolf, is it, is it this video, the one that you shared in, um, in, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 it is. Okay. Yeah, that's the one that has yeah, you. I acted in that video. I think you know my face from the last stream. I do. Yes. Okay. Let me just yeah. make sure that. Can you look at my screen, please? 
Let me just make sure that everyone can see my screen. All right, you guys, you yeah, ready yeah. for this? We're going to react to, I don't know what we're going to react to, but we're going to react to something, this video here. Read subtitles for yeah. better understanding. Um, I should turn on the subtitles, I guess. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Do not turn on the subtitles. Subtitles will be coming on another video. So, yeah. Okay. And can you share screen? Yeah, there's no subtitles. Um... Yeah, not for this part though. After the ne after this Hindi part, from next it will come. Okay. But what I'm trying to say is basically is that there's this uh, advertisement in Life Boy where you like it's a soap advertisement where like a guy will be washing his hands for a very long time and then he'll be saying like let the germs go, let the germs go, but it doesn't go. <laughs> it's a Life Boy advertisement, but because of doing this content now he's a boss. Question. It's a coronavirus. The best of all, to deal with this pandemic. Coronavirus and don't have immunity to this virus. Now, hand washing should take you about one minute. Hand washing should take you about one minute. One minute. What is going on? Summer sausages. What? What is going on right now? Coming summer, you will see me. I'll wake up. I'll wake up at six and I'll go to the gym. Wake up at six tonight and go to the gym during quarantine. Oh man, this is making me miss the gym. <laughs> what is going on? So, so Colberty Werewolf, like this is a 12 minute video, so I probably shouldn't play the whole thing on stream, but is there like a specific like part I should jump to? Oh, are you still, are you not there anymore? Hello, Colberting Werewolf? Okay, well, let me see what the chat is up to. Um, sorry I went to the bath, that's cool. Uh, Keegan, want to know why I think I'm kind of weird? I don't know, why do you think you're kind of weird? Um, I'm not paying attention, <laughs> okay. Maybe if it says press the button where it does the intro. Detune Paper says, check your Discord DM from me. Shh. Um, okay. <laughs> Let's check my... Wait, I'm on Discord on here. So. Let's see. What am I looking at? What am I looking at, you guys? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Like, am I not supposed to be... Am I not supposed to be showing this detune paper? I feel like I am. All right, all right. Um, shoot, where did, I, where, where did I, Oh yeah, it was on. It was on. Uh, Chrome. That's the problem. All right, we've got this. We've got a pe Whoa, it's upside down, but it's cool. So that makes up for the upside downness. Um, this is like. This is art by Detuned Paper, of course. Looks like this looks like style very similar to the Swamp. Wait, is this the new version of Swamp Survival? A new Swamp Survival game? Still upside down, but still cool. I'm liking all like the shading with dots. That is super awesome. Yeah, Swamp Survival, dude. Let's uh. The Angel Survivor. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm back. Anyway, so uh, can you continue reacting to the video? Yeah, so, like, as, as I was saying, um, yeah, Cold Burning Werewolf, this video is like, is like, um, 
it's, it's like 12 minutes long, so I don't want to watch the whole thing on on stream. But like, is there? Yeah, per- just yeah to my part, and then yeah. Which part it. is your part? Like over here? Should I start over here? Like a little before? Yeah, under blue shirt. Yeah, under blue shirt. Okay. Yeah, yeah, from there, from there. Yeah, start okay. there. Yep. Yeah, All from right. there, and then that's it. This part. This is the ending of this skit. The next one will be mine. <laughs> okay. I still don't know what's going on. Peace, inner peace. Okay. Peace, inner peace. Yeah, this is my part. This is my part. PS3 time. Yes, we die. Which game is it? Nice. Playing some Call of Duty. Lockdown. So like after lockdown it's like the same thing. No matter what gamers are gamers, true dat. True dat, yeah. <laughs> nice job, dude. Um nice job, dude. Yeah, thanks, but, uh, I know my friends are, like, sometimes they might even, yeah, yeah thanks. thanks, but, uh... No problem, dude. Keegan Citrus says, from a while ago, I think yes. I'm weird because I'm sitting down and get excited when I, sl- I slap my feet. Wait, what? <laughs> Ke- Keegan says, I slap my feet. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know, I mean, like, if you like slapping your feet, you know... Slap your feet. Ain't Why nothing wrong with that. Slapping the feet. There, I just slapped my foot. So, not so weird anymore. Because cause okay, other yeah. people do it now. <laughs> um, Alright, bye. Me, me, um, Colberting Werewolf. So, uh, yeah. Is there anything else I need to react to? What is what is going on in the PCG shop? Is there any are there any new PCGs that I have not seen yet? The gods. Oh my goodness, I need to download this right now, you guys. Look at that god on the cover. Also, that's a version of Zuvac. Oh my goodness. Arr. Yeah, that's a cool PCG. Um I think I'm done like making games for now though. What do you guys think? Is there anything else you want to uh see? Um, Keegan says, I'm now Monkey Keegan. Well, that's cool, because cause, cause monkeys are pretty, pretty, pretty cool monkeys. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so, yeah, I, like, I guess, I guess it's as good a time as any to end the stream. It, you know, it is 1.30 in the morning here in America. Um... So, like, unless anyone has any last-minute questions or last-minute things they want me to react to, I will definitely be happy to react to them real fast. Otherwise... Don't end yet, says Detune Paper. React to the other video which I sent you. I'm sending you something on Discord real quick. Oh, let's see what Detune Paper is sending me on Discord. Um... Um, let me switch to five so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Oh, it's like the same thing. You just sent it again. Okay. Um, yeah, but I did not get a chance to analyze this mainly because it is upside down. Um, let me see. Can I open this with something else where I can like switch its orientation? Maybe. Okay, connect to Google Drive. 
No, I just want to... Okay, now, can I can I turn it? All right, now I can now I can properly react to it. Okay. Let's see, we've got the camp, we've got a cave, a predator, a boss, a car, a bone pit, boss spider, boss predator, and boss roamer. That's awesome. Dude, this is not the same... This is not, like, a remake of the same... De like, of the same Swamp Survival game. This is a new, a totally new Swamp Survival game by the looks of it. Because there's, like, totally new bosses, new areas to explore. The Bone Pit is the same. There's still a Bone Pit in the other one. But that's the only other thing I recognize. I mean, other, th other than there being a camp in the middle, obviously. So, that is, uh, super cool. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do a series on this, on the on this one, DJ Paper, because because because, as always, your art is awesome. Um, looking forward to exploring more about this this uh, swamp survival universe. <laughs> um, let's see what Chad is saying. Dude, react to my other video which I sent you in Discord. All right, all right, all right. Um, let, let's, uh, let's check out the Discord. Um. I do not know what is going on. I probably shouldn't play too much of that. It's probably copyrighted music, but I don't know what is going on. Some, I, I like the anime art though. Um, that's that's pretty. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, yeah, pretty, 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 pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good art there. Um. Teaching Paper says, sent you all three pages for Swamp Survival in Discord. Properly oriented? Okay, sweet, dude. All right, so um, I will check those out, Detunes Paper. Um, let me see. Ooh, okay. So here is the um the cover swamp survival remastered yeah it's called swamp survival remastered but it's a totally new area so effectively effectively i feel like it's a new swamp survival game i mean granted that's not really my place to say it's your game so like i shouldn't make pronouncements about it but that's just my reaction but regardless regardless of what it is regardless of what you want to call it it looks awesome um <laughs> Like, I, like I, I always enjoy the simplicity of your covers, like the, 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 the small image on the front, like the, the, the small title. Like, I always put, like, a super... Like, look at my cover right now. Like, um, this guy right over here. You've got, you know, this, like, the whole cover is, like, perspective, like a giant title on the top. But I, like, I like you know the sort of understated like it makes you curious about the game you know um and like i said i really like the the dots the um like the sh shading using dots this is a really well done cover um let's see and then the other thing is this one that i did not see right side up yeah it's just like a tree so the, this GP stuff, it seems like, oh, grit points? So that's sort of like the equivalent of XP or something. Um, we've got a rapier. We've got, let's see, Everlast Campfire. These, like, abilities that you learn once you have enough GP. That is pretty cool. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have to, like, master this 
before I, you know, start doing a series on it. Also, the tune paper, like you wanted to, um, you wanted to play uh, uh, detuned, detuned world wasteland um, with me on a PCG Friday, right? We should like, we should like, we should like. I don't think we ever like set down an official Friday for that. We should, we should, we should, uh, we should do that. Um, Detune paper says it's technically a reboot. Okay. The, um, crazy to think OG Swamp Survival was 2017 release. Man, yeah. That was a while ago. <laughs> and I'm still playing it. Um, never quite got finished it. Keegan says I have an inspiration now. Oh, awesome. Yes, still causing inspiration this late into the stream. I, I dig it. Whew. All right, you guys. I think... I think it's a good time to end the stream. What do you guys think? I'm going to make a skill tree. Oh, awesome. Yeah. That is a really good idea. All right, you guys. I am going to end the stream. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Soup still sucks and you guys will will never convince me otherwise unless we're talking about dry cereal because that is very tasty. So I will make an exception there. And the Milky Way Galaxy is still not soup, but we did make a lot of progress on um, on our game, on our paper game, which is called Zuvac, the paper game. We've got our we've got our cover, um, we've got our you know our terrible controller, whatever's going on here. This is this is supposed to be like a a a controller somehow. Uh, you've got your 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 paper characters you got your zuvac your your thing this thing which this robot guy which was suggested by Mebo Fibo and the, the cleaner bot and yeah that is zuvac the paper game so far we're going to make some more of it oh here's the cartridge I'm gonna make a console for this to go into at some point but yeah that is zuvac the paper game thank you guys so much for watching and uh yeah, like make guys make your stuff and let me know what you what what you what you uh what you find and uh, what you make. I'm looking forward to seeing it. So thanks for watching, folks.